We knew that we wanted to do something different with Chocolate Rain. It was originally a uh, a cask treatment beer at one of the Black Tuesday parties, and uh, essentially, essentially, it is Black Tuesday uh, treated with with cacao nibs and, and vanilla. And we we brewed it uh, several times over the years. In the process of of, of uh, working on on this beer that I have in front of me, we we wanted to take the chocolate rain concept and and really augment the experience. So um, so this beer is is actually. Uh, double barreled uh, in the same way the the reserve series would be and treated with insane amounts of cacao nibs and and, and whole vanilla beans. How do we come up with a name like like Chocolate Rain? It, it's actually kind of a funny story. You know, for a couple of years we flirted with the idea of doing an amped up version of Chocolate Rain and most of our members probably heard us talking about that and they're kind of waiting for that to come and and as as we were planning it, we couldn't get the right name. You know, I think we we thought of things like uh, chocolate thunder and chocolate hurricane and you know all these kind of all these kind of things and you know it just dawned on us out of uh you know quite honestly a, a level of fun and confusion to call it the same thing but spell it differently um it, it's very common for us to have a little bit of fun with our names here at the brewery uh i think offshoot as well you'll see there's a little tongue-in-cheek type of naming convention that we use for those beers um, so we just thought it would be fun to, to call it the same thing confuse ourselves internally uh, confuse our customers a little bit, but but really, you know, drive the difference uh, of the two beers in the finished products themselves. And I think that's what we have here. Very similar to last year's as far as like our ideas and our process. We, we we're very happy with the way the beer came out last year, you know, doing a little bit of barrel elevage, if you will, taking, uh, you know, something that's, you know, 12 to 14 months old in bourbon barrel and, and re-barreling it into a fresh bourbon barrel and then building up that with the Colombian cacao nib. Um, we we're happy to do that again this year. We thought we thought it worked really well. Uh, what we did though is we changed the uh, cacao nib this year and I, I don't know how to pronounce it but I I think it's Tamako. Uh, Tamako Colombian cacao nib. Uh, and then we followed it with uh, Madagascar vanilla beans in barrel. So basically this is a double barrel aged Black Tuesday base beer aged twice on cacao nibs. So a lot of dark dark cacao flavor and then a little bit of uh you know spice from from uh colombia quite honestly it's a big beer it's a big beer it's full bodied it's got a viscosity it's got layers and layers of cacao flavor and then that perception of sweetness coming back um, not only from the body of the beer but from the vanilla beans themselves so i think it's a fantastic beer um, for me I, don't, I wouldn't pair this beer with anything um, i think it's I think it's just a standalone drinker. It's a sipper. If anything, I would pair it with nothing. I don't, I don't want to pair it with anything. I'm not going to pair this beer with anything. What do you think about that?